Today I'm going to be taking a look at this little microdrive and the little adventures I've gone on using it. So a microdrive is essentially a tiny hard drive. So here it is in comparison to a normal three and a half inch desktop drive, and it's a lot smaller. And these were kind of designed to be a replacement for flash drives back in the day, because flash back then was a lot worse than flash was today. Today you can get fairly cheap one terabyte SSDs for under hundred dollars that are very fast. But back in about 2005, when this drive came out, flash was nowhere near that good and was much more expensive. So for a price comparison, this is a 500 gigabyte CF card, mainly made for use in cameras. It was about $500. And this six gigabyte micro drive was about $300, where the 400 gigabyte variant was about 200. So it was under half the cost of the flash version, which made it attractive for many use cases. But over time, as flash got cheaper and better and the micro drive slowly started to die out, these pretty much became non-existent and just kind of relics of the past. And now that I have one of those, I just want to try it around, see what devices it works in, and see what I can do with it. Now, my micro drive is in the form factor of a CF card, which means it has basically an IDE interface, but it's slightly modified. And this is actually a CF Type 2 card, which means it's up to 5 millimeters thick, whereas a normal flash-based CF card is a Type 1, which is 3.3 millimeters thick. Most older devices will take the Type 1 or Type 2 devices. So this is an older camera, and it has a thicker slot so I can just slot this micro drive in it. Um, but some newer cameras that take CF and some newer card readers won't take these micro drives because almost no one's using them now. But unfortunately for me, I couldn't get any cameras to work with it. I have two cameras that took these CF Type 2 cards, and both of them which I powered up, I went to format them, and it would just say there's a formatting error and would never let me use it, which was interesting. So I decided to start trying this micro drive in other devices that I had. The most obvious one is being a card reader. So I just put in a card reader plugged in and it showed up and my Windows system is just a normal CF card plugged into it. I copy files to and from it, format it, and it just works. Now it is a bit slow, so here's a Crystal Disk Mark benchmark of about 7 megabytes per second and 3-ish megabytes per second write. So not very fast, especially compared to modern. But because I have this 4 gig drive, which I'd say is about competing, and it was about a similar time period, I wanted to compare it to this older CF card. So I compared it, and it was about 12 megabytes per second read, and 6 megabytes per second write. So it looks like the flash-based card was getting about double the speed, but also at over double the cost. So it could be a reasonable compromise for a lot of different use cases. But now I wanted to actually try using this card in something that's actually I could use it in other than a card reader. Fortunately, a lot of older devices used CF cards as kind of an internal boot drive. So I have like a POS system here that takes it as an internal little drive, and I have a little server motherboard that takes it as a little internal drive too. So I tried putting it in those. And luckily it worked in both. My first experiment was just installing Debian on the server motherboard using this drive as the boot drive. Debian still installs on the 6 GB drive, but it is extremely slow. Here's a total of the reboot time and it took multiple minutes and there's a lot of times that I thought, oh, it's not doing anything and nope, it's waiting for disk IO. Even normal desktop tasks on this system like opening Firefox took quite a while on this super slow drive, but it did work. I could also use this drive in my old POS system, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be able to boot from these CF cards, only just use them as a data drive, so it's a bit more difficult and it showed about the same performance as if I had it plugged into my USB card reader. I wish I could have gotten it working in one of the cameras that I had. So let me know if you know anything about why it doesn't work in the cameras, but looking at forum posts, it seems like it was possible to use micro drives in cameras as people talked about using micro drives in cameras of that era, like this one here. When doing research for this video, one thing I found that was quite interesting to me was reading the old forum posts and people talking about now obsolete tech. And people saying, should I get a micro drive or should I get a flash based CF card? And people going, the micro drives are cheaper versus you should just offload your photos quickly from a flash based CF card and the dangers of the micro drive being resistant to shock. Now, I'm not sure exactly how much shock this drive can have, and I don't really want to find out with my one sample of it. Looking at the drive, it's completely encased with this little plastic white sticker, so I'm curious what's hiding under the sticker. Upon taking off the sticker, it looks kind of like almost any other hard drive, just much smaller. There's a flat metal side like a normal hard drive would have on one side of the drive, and on the other side of the drive, there's a circuit board with a few chips. And also I can see this is probably the back of the main spindle motor and this is probably the back of the head. 
And from what I can see, this has a single platter with one with two heads for one for each side of the drive. Unfortunately, I don't have a screwdriver that can take the board off and I don't want to damage this drive anymore. So this is all I'm going to be able to see of the drive's internals. But it is so cute seeing such a tiny hard drive compared to the much larger drives that I'm used to. And it's interesting seeing how hard drives in the past got much smaller than they are today. I think this is an interesting look at storage technologies in the past and let me know what thoughts you had about this in the comments. Thank you.